Hello everybody, this is Hardly Bardly, back once more with another episode of Long Live the Queen. So, when we last left off, we were doing a run in which we had full skills maxed out so we could determine some of the other secrets in the game. So we could learn some of the other paths, find out about some of the other characters, and... In fact, we learned about one new character we've never gotten to see before because we were never able to pass a certain skills check. So in this episode, we are going to be continuing that and hopefully we will learn more about Nova and the people that Elodie is going to be queen of one of these days. Are going to be queen of. Anyway. Alright, so let's take a look at our skills. They're all maxed out. Mood is... Willful still, and we've still got the history outfit because we are trying to dig into history. So let's go to the next thing. Jocelyn, remember that the festival of the good lady is approaching. There will be a public celebrations for the commoners followed by a grand gala for the nobility. A grand ball. There will be dancing. As queen, you would be expected to lead the procession and take part in the ceremonial planting, possibly give a speech. However, since you are not yet crowned, it is not required, and it may not be safe to expose you to the public. What do you mean, not safe? Outside of the castle, you are less well protected. If anyone means you harm... Uh, think on it now. Decide later. Where does come from the factory for books that you have funded? So, um... We have a little bit of new dialogue since we have the printing press we invested in it this time around. They have assembled enough equipment to begin printing test pamphlets. As their royal sponsor, it is your right to decide the content of the first printing. Strategy success. All right, so if you did have the did get the printing press and your strategy was high enough, you're good with this. So, we can print various things here. We can do army recruitment, uh, we can do poems praising your mother, pro in propaganda, or religious doctrine. Um, so this really just depends on what we want to do. If we want to uh, possibly win the war at the end through a naval battle, we're going to go with army recruitment. If we want to do pro lumen stuff, we want to make the lumens happier, then we're going to go with lumen stuff. So it's that sort of thing. So I can't remember what religious doctrine does or poems praising your mother does. Hmm. Well, let's... Hmm. Let's do poems praising our mother. What I want them to print is a memorial for my mother. How beautiful she was and strong and noble and wise. I don't want anyone to forget her. That... That's very thoughtful of you. For a moment, he blinks repeatedly and does not speak. Aww. Poor guy. There's a letter for you as well. It's from Bryony. I went to school with her, but she's a couple of years older than me. Her mother is the Duchess of Mead. She's complaining that her mother still won't let her come home for the holidays. She's bored and looking for an adventure. Well, I don't have anything to suggest to her. So let's go dancing! Uh-oh. Her current mood is pressured. Yeah, this is one I don't think we've seen before. Aww. I don't like that face on her. She looks like she's in pain. We, we need to change that, definitely. Oops, I clicked the wrong thing again. So, actually, what skills would have a boost? Um, I think athletics, it seems. And faith would have a boost for pressured. Okay, anyway, let's continue. Today is the procession and planting for the festival of the good lady. Will you be leading the parade? If you have any concerns about your safety, please stay here. The people will recover from disappointment. If we lose you, there is no recovery. Let's lead, let's parade and make a speech. I'm not afraid. I'm going to be the best parade leader ever. My little girl. You prepare your best gown for the occasion, then walk slowly through the town with your attendants. It would not be appropriate for you to wear a sword. Why not? But you do walk with a sturdy golden scepter that's taller than you are. You can tell from the excited murmurs around you, elegant success, 
that the people are impressed with your queenly appearance. At the end of the route, you help the princess, the priestesses turn over the earth for the new tree to be planted. After the blessings are read, you hold up your hands and call for silence so you can speak. Public speaking success. So we actually um, did this once before and had public speaking success. So we're going to click through here just a little bit faster. Words are met with great applause. Procession regroups to return to the castle. And that was successful! Yay! Let's see. Uh, we'll do one to all of those and maybe that'll change. Okay, so we need to make her more lonely for that, so okay. Oops, I did not mean to do that. That was not what I intended. Are you ready for the Grand Ball? So, we are about to go to the Grand Ball. For once, I didn't stop a video right before then. Alright, so this time, we're going to be able to do the sense magic and see what that's going to do. Awesome! Love it! Okay, present success. You let your eyes rest upon each in turn as you have been taught, impressing upon them that you are not a child, but a queen. And then you dance with your father. And since all of our skills are sky high, we should actually know more about these people this time. Okay. Intrigue plus court manner success. No doubt every noble family with eligible sons has dreams of a royal wedding. Your choice will raise some hopes and dash others. Feuds could be born here. The Duke of Kigal has not yet named any of his sons as his official heir. But his second son, Linley, was always kind to you at school. If you wish to show favor to Gigal, Linley would be your choice. The Duchy of Alath is currently held in regency for its young Lord Adair, who is only twelve and a head shorter than you are. Alath is a rich territory, and at least little Adair wouldn't try to take any liberties. Dancing with Banyan, the Duke of Marie, could be quite awkward if you did not actually wish to marry him. He has been waiting years for a powerful heiress to accept his suit. Not all nobles are created equal. You could choose someone charming and unimportant, like the Earl of Mima, a territory fought too minor to con for anyone to consider it a threat. However, the major families might eat him alive afterwards. If you wish to distract attention from your marital prospects, you could choose someone clearly ineligible one of your uncles, or an older family man like the Earl of Ishtar, or even a woman, though that would be mildly scandalous. So, this time around, we, since our uh, intelligence and everything was, foreign intelligence and everything was high enough, we actually have choices. Like, specific choices. So, we can do Lindley, Adair, Banyan, Chain, Armand, who is our uncle, Erwin, Earl of Ishtar, examine the women. <laughs> so, let's examine the women. So, as a queen, few would dare comment about your choice of companions, but until you have provided an heir to the throne, there is great pressure on you to make an appropriate match. That doesn't mean you have to give in. It might be entertaining to see the reaction of Juliana, Duchess of Rousseau, if you asked her to dance with you. Would she be flustered? Or, for once, Bran, the Duchess of Hellas, is an attractive and unmarried woman. What might people think, seeing the two of you together? Probably that you're with a warmonger, considering she keeps invading territories. Internal f affair is success. According to rumor, she is inclined in that direction. But what does she think of you? The most important woman present, after yourself, is Aris, Duchess of Lilla. She is married, elderly, a mother, and grandmother many times over but might be flattered by the acknowledgement of her status. This is the one they call the Eastern Queen of Nova, and who caused trouble for us, including a civil war in another video. Or, if you truly wanted to set the court on its ear, you could demand your first dance with a mere servant, a maid like Alice. The assembled nobles would be outraged. Um, you know what? Let's dance with Aris, because she did cause us trouble and another video, but maybe if we make her happy here, then she'd just come and try to be our advisor or something instead of causing a bunch of trouble. She could do that so much easier than starting a civil war. Let's dance with her. 
You approach the grand old lady, uncomfortably aware that in some eyes she may look more like a queen than you do. The room holds its breath as you stand before her, waiting for her reaction. Then, with dignity, she extends her hand to you. And then, dancing with a real partner feels quite different from dancing with your father. But since her dancing skills are a success for once, of course, you are an excellent dancer and you relish the chance to show off your hard-earned skills. A ballroom dance isn't nearly as much of a showcase as a stage performance, but you can easily impress the guests with your technique and style. Between the dances, there is time for the guests to mingle, chat, and sample tiny bites of exquisite food. Court manners flattery. You interact comfortably with everybody. You notice that Fabian, the elderly Earl of Titan, is not looking entirely well. Could this have something to do with the omen the owl brought of you of death and disruption? Fabian is the father of and regent for Adair, the young lord of Alath. The boy is only twelve, years too young to assume his full title. For an intelligent success, almost all of Adair's near-blood relatives had died in the past thirty years. His mother, Kayla, died in childbirth. Her mother and sister are suspected to have been the victims of agents of Sedna. If Fabian dies before Adair is of age, there will be a succession crisis in the lath. Let's talk to him. Public speaking plus court manners plus flattery equals success! Lord Fabian, might I have a word with you? I am concerned about the future of your son, Adair. My mother's death has made it clear to me that we are all mortal, and solid plans need to be in place. You worry for a moment about how the old man will take such a subject, but he only sighs and nods. Let's check this out. He's the Duke Regent of Elath, Earl of Titan, age 60, former, uh, former wife, Kayla, Duchess of Elath, deceased. Wife now is Aris, who we danced with earlier, Duchess of Lilla. Son, Adair, heir of Elath, age 12. Father of four adult children, ages 30 to 24. With his first wife, his second wife, Kayla, died giving birth to her son, Adair. And I'm guessing that Aris has had no children with him. Okay. Some of my family would claim that I have already lived forever, and could continue to do so. But the mornings do grow colder. I hope to see Adair become a man, but I know that it may not happen. I know she's no blood of his, but I say... Leave the boy with a wrist and her brood in Lilla. Her youngest three are near enough to a Adair's siblings, Adele especially. She dotes on him. My other children are too old. Adair's never known them. And his grandfather. Well, he and I will never settle at who should have known better. And it's too late now. Still, I would never trust him with Kayla's son. He pats your hand. Good little girl you are for thinking of me. What will come, will come. Adair comes running up to his father. Oh, he's adorable. Adair, young lord of Alath. Dad, I got punch on my shoes. Heir to the Duchy of Alath, age 12. Mother is Kayla, Duchess of Alath, deceased. Stepmother, Aris, Duchess of Lilla. Father, Fabian, Earl of Titan. You live in to deal with that problem. During a lull in the music, Banyan, the Duke of Marie, taps an elegant fingernail against the wine glass as usual. Blah, blah, blah. If I might have your attention. And with this, I'm actually going to cut this video here. So, for once, I didn't cut it before the Grand Ball. I cut it in the middle of the Grand Ball. So, if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. I would really appreciate that. And don't forget to hit that notification bell too, so you can catch all the new videos as soon as they come out. Thank you all very much, and this is Hardly Bartley, signing out.